So in today's tutorial, I'll be demonstrating how to create this, um, this uh, cube-shaped cross pattern similar to what you see here on my screen. It's sort of like a plus sign or a cross. I'm going to show you how to make a 3D cube out of this shape right here. So with that being said, let's close out of this and get started. The first thing we'll do in Inkscape is go to View, make sure we have Custom selected. We're going to zoom in at 1 to 1. We'll open up our Align and Distribute menu. Make sure you have Last Selected chosen from that drop down. And then we'll open up our Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke menu. So the first thing we'll do is we will draw a polygon. So click on the Stars and Polygons tool. And make sure you have the Polygon button selected. Six corners, rounded zero, randomized zero. And once you have those parameters set, come over to the canvas. Hold Control and Shift and click and drag on the canvas to create a polygon. Make sure the, top, the, uh, the corners are going top to bottom like that, up and down. You don't want um, the flat side facing up and down like that. You want to have the corners facing up and down. So once we get there, we'll go to our arrow and let's convert this to a path. We'll go to Path, Object to Path. And we'll take the opacity on this and drop this in half. And we're also going to turn on our Snap to Cusp Nodes button. So come up here to where it says Snap to Cusp Nodes and let's turn that on. And then we'll right click this, go to Duplicate. We'll turn that red. And we'll come and snap the corner, this bottom left corner right here to this top left corner. Kind of like that. And we'll click on the black polygon, right click it. Duplicate, hold shift in the keyboard and click on the red polygon and go to path, intersection. And then we'll click on this black polygon again. We'll right click it and duplicate that again. We'll turn that blue. And let's take this top left corner over here and grab it and connect it to this middle corner on the bottom here. And we'll take this black polygon. We'll right click it, go to duplicate, hold shift, click on the blue polygon and go to path, intersection. And then we'll hold shift and click on this, uh, this red diamond up here. So we have those two both selected. Right click, duplicate, path, union, and then hold shift and click on the black polygon. So you have them both selected and go to path, difference. So you should have three separate um, objects kind of like that. So the next thing we'll do is we'll click and drag over this whole thing, bring the opacity on it all the way up. And come up here to this little like this little lock icon between the two uh, number fields, and we'll turn that on. And for the width, we're going to make the width of this an even 300. So we'll erase whatever number's there, type 300, and hit enter. And let's come down here to our color picker, and let's give this a nice medium shade of blue or whatever color you'd like to use. And we can click off of the graphic to deselect it. Now we can click on this right side of the polygon right here, and let's go down to. Uh, on the HSL tab, let's go down to the L column and let's slide this over to the left to give that a darker shade. Kind of like that. And then we'll come up here to this top piece of the polygon and we'll come over to the L column. We'll slide that to the right to give it a lighter shade. Just like that. And then let's click and drag over the whole thing and let's group it together by clicking this button right here. Group selected objects. And we'll right click it and go to duplicate. We'll flip that vertically and horizontally and we'll change the width of that to 120. So whatever, uh, it should be 300 here in this box. Let's erase that and type in 120 and hit enter. And then hold shift in the keyboard and click on the other objects. You have them both selected. And let's center them up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. And then we can ungroup them. And then we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little blue piece right here and we'll right click this and go to duplicate and we'll turn that um, let's turn that red and let's take this corner right here and snap it onto this bottom corner right here just click and drag it over there and snap it onto that corner and then we'll right click it and go to duplicate and snap this top left corner onto this top left corner and we'll right click this and go to duplicate and we'll take this bottom right corner and snap it onto that bottom right corner then we'll hold shift in the keyboard and click on all three of these so you have them all selected and go to path union and then we'll right click this and go to duplicate we'll flip this horizontally flip selected objects horizontally and we'll snap this onto the bottom left over here and then uh, with this still selected with these three red diamonds still selected hold shift in the keyboard and click on this dark blue piece uh, beneath it and go to path difference and we'll do the same thing over here. We'll click on these three red pieces, hold shift in the keyboard and press, uh, click on the, the blue piece beneath it. So you have them both selected and go to path, difference. 
So the next thing we'll do is we'll take this little blue, this light blue piece in the center here. We'll right click that and go to duplicate. And we'll put this into the corner over here. We'll snap this left corner onto this top left corner of that object. And let's go to our Bezier pen and click on that. And let's snap the cursor onto the bottom corner right here and then click and bring the line up to the top corner and click and then bring the line around the outside of that shape and connect it back to the starting point. And we can go back to our arrow, hold shift in the keyboard and click on the blue piece beneath it so you have them both selected. And we'll go to path, difference. And we'll right click this and go to duplicate. And we'll press F7 on the keyboard to bring up the dropper tool. And we'll click on this, this, this section right here to make it that color. And we'll go back to our arrow and let's flip that horizontally and let's connect the bottom left corner of this object to the top corner of this one. So we'll snap it right there just like that. And then we'll right click this and go to duplicate and hold shift in the keyboard and click on this light blue piece up top and go to path difference and then path break apart. Well I was supposed to break it into two pieces but uh, there might be Looks like there's a little error somewhere along the line here. So what we'll do now is let's um, let's take the Bezier pen and let's snap it to this top corner up here and click and then snap it to this bottom corner right here and click and bring the line around the outside edge right there and go back to the arrow, hold shift and click on this top piece up there and go to path difference. The whole point of breaking that apart, what we just tried to do, path break apart, the whole point of that was to create those, uh, to break these two into separate pieces. And if it worked for you and you could select this piece individually, go ahead and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of it. If you ended up like me where there's some kind of error, you just hold shift, click on the top piece, and go to path, difference. Okay, so this seems to be somewhat of a little glitch I ran into here. It happens sometimes with Inkscape. So the next thing we'll do is Let's take this piece to the left here. Let's right click that and duplicate it. And we'll flip that horizontally. And we'll take this over here and snap it into the corner right there. Then we'll right click it and go to duplicate. And press F7 on the keyboard to get the dropper. And click on this dark blue portion right here to make it that shade. And then we'll go back to our arrow and flip that horizontally. And then snap this on top of this upper corner right here. And then we can right click that and go to duplicate, hold shift in the keyboard and click on this blue object right there and go to path difference. And let's see if it works this time. I'm guessing not. Uh, path break apart. No, it didn't work that time. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go back to our Bezier pen. We'll snap it onto this corner and click, snap it onto that corner and click and bring the line around the graphic back to the starting point. Go back to the arrow, hold shift in the keyboard and click on this blue piece right there and go to path, difference. And then we'll take this blue piece right here. We'll right click that and go to duplicate. Let's turn that red and let's bring this, let's take this top corner and snap it to this top corner. Let's bring it up there like that. Hold shift in the keyboard and click on the, the light blue piece beneath it and go to path, difference. And what we could do next is we'll take this blue uh, little segment right there. We'll right click that and go to duplicate and we'll drag this down here. And I'm going to click this a second time to get the rotation handles. And I'm going to rotate this around until it'll fit right in this corner right here. So I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and rotate it until it's going upright like that. And it'll just fit right into that corner just like that. And the next thing we'll do just to finish this off, we'll click on this piece right here, right click it, go to duplicate bring it down here, click it a second time to get the rotation handles, hold control, click and drag it around until it's upright and it could fit in that corner. And we just go ahead and snap it into that corner right there. So that's pretty much it. The graphic is done at this point. If you want to add another touch to it, uh, we can, what we could do is we can go and add gradients and I'll go over that right now with you. Um, the first thing we could do is we could turn off our snap to cusp nose. We don't need that anymore. Let's go and create a circle. Let's hold control and shift in the keyboard and click and drag up here and create a circle and go back to the arrow. I'm going to duplicate this twice, right click, duplicate, and then right click, duplicate, bring this over here and then bring this over here. 
Uh, what I'm going to do, this is going to be the palette right here. I'm going to create these gradients and then just place them on each segment of the graphic. So let's click this first one and then press F7 to get the dropper. And let's click on the light shade like that. Let me go back to the arrow. Let's click on the middle circle. Press F7 to get the dropper. Let's click on the medium shade. And then go back to the arrow. And we'll click on this, this final one right here. F7 to get the dropper. And click on this darker shade. So we have our three shades right there. And go back to the arrow. And let's go to this first one. And let's give that a linear gradient by clicking this button right here. Linear gradient. And then press G on the keyboard to get our gradient handles. And let's click on this stop to the right right here. The very one on the right. And we'll come over here, bring the opacity up, and from the L column under the HSL tab, from the L column, I'm going to bring that to the right, make that almost white, not quite, but almost. And we'll click on this one right here, the center one. We'll give that a gradient as well, linear gradient. And then click on the stop to the right right here, bring the opacity on that all the way up, and make this one slightly lighter maybe about that much, that should work. And then finally, we'll click on this one right here. Give that a linear gradient. Click Edit. Actually, no, we'll, uh, we'll click on the gradient handle right here to the right, this, this, this stop to the right right here. Bring the opacity up and make this one slightly lighter, maybe about that much, and then we should be set. So let's go back to our arrow and let's find all of the pieces that use the lighter shade like this one right here. So we got this one, this one, this one, and this one. So let's click this cross on top first. We'll do that. We'll give that a linear gradient. We'll go to our drop down menu and select the lighter shade and press G on the keyboard to get the gradient handles. We'll take the darker shade and put that up top and take the, the, uh, the lighter shade, hold control on the keyboard so it goes straight up and down and we'll put that one towards the bottom. We'll do the same thing right here. Let's click on this lighter shade right here Linear gradient, go to the drop down, select the, uh, the lighter shade that we created, put that right there, hold control, bring the lighter shade to the bottom. Same thing right here. Linear gradient, go to the drop down, let's choose the last one right there, put the darker shade to the top, take the lighter shade and hold control and drag it down there. And we'll do the same thing right here. Click on that piece, give that a linear gradient, select our lighter shade, Put the, the darker shade up top and the lighter shade on the bottom. And you could hold control to bring the line, the line straight up and down like that. And then the next we'll do is we'll do our mid, our mid shade right here. So let's click on this piece, which is a mid shade. Let's go to our gradient. We'll go to the drop down and choose the mid shade right there. We'll take, um, we'll take the darker shade and put that to the bottom. And take the lighter shade and bring that to the top. We'll hold control and just bring it up like that. We'll do the same thing with this one right here. Click on that linear gradient. Let's take our mid shade, put that right there. And then we'll do that to this piece too, right here. Pretty much every segment that's, that's the same color as the mid shade was, you want to do this with. So we'll put the darker shade right here. Hold control, bring this line straight up to the top. We'll do that here. Linear gradient, mid shade right there. Hold control, bring the line straight up. And then we have one more left to go. So let's click on our darker pieces right here. Let's take this dark piece and let's give that the darker shade. We'll put the darker shade at the bottom, the lighter shade up top. Same thing with this one. Select our darker shade, put that at the bottom, lighter shade up top. And then finally right here, actually not finally, I got one more to go. And go to this one right here. We'll give that a linear gradient, go to the drop down, And this repetitive, this repetitive thing is almost over. So that's pretty much it. We can go to our arrow tool, click and drag over these. We don't need these anymore. We just go ahead and delete them and click and drag over this whole thing and group it together. If you want, go to the group, uh, group selected objects. And that's pretty much it. We're done. So that's how you can do that with Inkscape. So if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments section and I'll gladly help you out. And as always, thank you for watching.